Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, we are learning the Laravel life cycle and you will uh, feel more confident if you understand how the tool works. Our goal today is to give you a good high level overview of how the Laravel framework works. And the journey begins with the entry point for all web requests, which is the index.php file inside the public directory. And I have opened here a Laravel, uh, sorry, the Laravel documentation and also a Laravel project, which is right here. And this public index.php file is inside the our project. Here we have a public directory and here's the index.php file. And I have opened this file, which is right here. Okay. Also, if you go to documentation of Laravel and search for deployment, and then we have the yeah, here is the deployment. And then scroll down, we have server configuration, Nginx, if you are using Nginx. And then read this. Please ensure, like the configuration below, your web server directs all requests to your application's public index.php file. Okay? All the requests is going to be direct in here in this file, pub index.php inside the public directory. You should never attempt to move the index.php file to your project's root as serving the application from the project root will expose many sensitive configuration files to the public internet. And we have the configuration file here. So listen to 80, to port 80, uh, server name example.com. And the root is inside the server we have, for example, the example.com, which is the project directory. Okay, the root directory of our project, the Laravel project. And then the public directory, which is this public directory here. And it's going to load this index.php file. And this index.php file is this file here. Okay, so your web server, like Apache or Nginx, directs all requests here. And this file, will register the composer autoloader and then retrieves an instance of the Laravel application from this uh, bootstrap app PHP file. And the very first action Laravel takes is creating an instance of this uh, application. And also I have opened this file in here. So app is what we return from here application configure with route and with middleware uh, with exception create and also i have all this application file and here we call the app handle request passing the capture okay so next the incoming request is sent to one of the central component which is the http kernel if we open this in here handle request first we get the kernel instance and then response is going to say kernel handle passing the request and then send and if we open this i have opened this file here and see the handle method and here is the handle method here so handle an incoming request, a HTTP request, and here is the full uh, method. First, is going to say this request at, request started at passing the carbon now, and then it's going to try catch, and this app event dispatch an event and return the response here. But here, when it's going to try, it's going to say the last time request enable HTTP method parameter override, and then the response. It's going to come from this sent through router passing the request. And if I open this method uh, sent through the router, so sent the given request through the middleware router. Sent request through router. So this app instance re passing the request, clear result instance, and then it's calling this bootstrap. After this bootstrap is going to return a new pipeline passing the app 
send in the request, throw this up or should skip middleware or not, and then dispatch the router. Then dispatch the router. And if we see this bootstrap, which is colon right here, let me just, yeah, it's down there. Here is going to check if this app has been bootstrapped. It's going to skip otherwise it's going to say this app bootstrap with and these bootstrappers and if we see these bootstrappers it's going to return only these bootstrappers which is an array and here we have the bootstrappers okay so load environment variables load the configuration handle the exceptions register facades register providers and then boot providers okay so if it were a command line request, it will go to console kernel and this kernel serves as the central location through which all the requests flow. Now, the HTTP kernel defines an array of bootstrappers that run first and these bootstrappers handle tasks like configuring error handling uh, and logging. And the kernel is essentially a big black box, so you feed it HTTP request and it's going to return uh, HTTP responses as we saw on the handle method. Okay. Yeah, here is the handle. So you pass the request and it's going to return a response. One of the most important bootstrapping actions performed by the kernel is loading the service providers as we saw. So service providers are truly the key of bootstrapping a Laravel application. Essentially, every major feature offered by Laravel is bootstrapped and configured by a service provider, uh, handling things like uh, database, routing and validation components. And as you can see here, there is a specific order here. So Laravel iterates through the providers and instantiates them. First, the register method, as you can see, register providers. So first the register method is called on all providers. Then after all the registers, all registration is complete, the boot method is called on each provider. And remember this distinction. The register method is primarily used to bind services or classes into the service container. And the boot method is considered uh, your action method. And it's where you should place a code that depends on services from, the, from other providers. Now, once uh, bootstrapping is complete, the request is handed off to the router for dispatching. But before reaching the controller, the request must uh, pass through the application's middleware stack. And middleware act as a convenient mechanism for filtering or examining requests, serving as a kind of a gatekeeper. So middleware handles tests, tasks like reading the HTTP session, verifying the CSRF tokens, or checking the user authentication. And if the request successfully passes through all the assigned route middleware, the route or controller method executes. So if we pass the middleware, then we go to controller and we execute that, me that method inside the controller. Once the route or controller generates a response, that response travels back outward through the route's middleware chain. And this gives the application a final chance to modify or examine the outgoing response. And finally, the HTTP kernel returns the response object and the send method is called on it. This send method delivers the response content to the user web browser, completing our journey through the entire uh, Laravel request lifecycle. Okay, this is how we send the, requ the request and we get the response back. It's not very simple, just uh, click the button or load the website, got a controller and then go back. No, this is how the Laravel works. And I think we completed the full life cycle from the index PHP to the kernels through the 
crucial service providers, pass the middleware, and finally delivering the response. And I think understanding this uh, core architectural concepts makes building with Laravel uh, much more confident. Okay. And that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe or like the video. And yeah, see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.